Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How is your Friday going? I guess in some parts of the world, it's going to be Saturday morning for some folks. Overseas, per perchance, Saturday evening for Australian friends. Welcome, everybody, to my third work play from home stream. And I don't know what episode y'all are on, but I imagine it's at least a few, right? Because you've been it's been like a year ish, almost a year. Maybe since you guys have been doing this nine months, something like that. And um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to be here. And uh, thanks to Cooler Master for asking me to come out. Um, my baby girl's in the other room with some family members. So happy to have the opportunity. 20 something episode, 20 something. 36th. So yeah, that's like, what, eight months? How many, however many weeks? Something like that that's awesome um shout out to the sponsors of the stream intel crucial and sapphire who are um sponsoring a lot of the giveaways today as well as the monthly giveaway which i believe i'm not sure what the command is for that but i know that uh the, our cooler master friends are going to be posting that link in chat all the time there is a page which i can go to this one that's not it. That's my email. That's fine. Uh, eh. Professionals, professional. I am a professional. Um, there is a page. I don't know if this is a link that you're sharing. WPFHWU.coolermaster.com. And so 
the prize package for for the monthly or excuse me this is the 250 concurrent viewership which is what we might get today the monthly grand prize is the intel 9 bundle which is insane with a 5600 xt cooler master master case cooler master cases are the best like i've 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 been using them for i don't know my first pc build was probably i want to say like 2007 2006 i'm pretty sure the cooler master was like my first case ever in my solo build and i've pretty much had at least one cooler master pc case every few years um crucial ram crucial pcie m2 m.2 drive what is that like two ter yeah two terabytes that's awesome yeah so this is the case is that a is that a mini or is that a mid tower i can't tell this is a lot of like there, here's the weekly prizes a bunch of ram fans uh coolers a lot of awesome stuff that that the the very kind folks at cooler master are giving away which i mean what other hardware companies are doing this kind of thing hosting streams and giving a bunch of stuff away like every week also make sure to join the discord which if you'd like to put the discord in chat um i think they have a link for it i can say what it is Yeah, discord.com slash invites. Oh, so, so it is. But is it discord.gg slash cooler master? If they went to that, would they get in? Are all those giveaways for people playing Destiny 2? No, you don't have to play Destiny 2 at all. You just have to be here right now. By the way, this music is copyright free. I just like ambience, ambience. I have coffee because I'm tired. I'm a parent. Who else? Who else? Who else has kids here? I have little kids. Why did I win? Is this a riddle? <laughs> I'm playing Destiny 2, yes. If you would like to play Destiny 2 with me, there is a join command, which there's kind of a queue. Destiny 2, you won, yes. Awesome. And you can, uh, the, the people that win will send me a message on Discord and I'll give them my join link and we'll get in here. I'm thinking we just do some chill strikes. Gives us, gives us an opportunity to chat. The last couple of times, what, I played Fall Guys and, oh my goodness, Rocket League? <laughs> I was a little out of my element. I had to focus on the game a lot more than I normally do when I'm streaming. <laughs> so, they finally let me... I'm just kidding. I'm down for whatever, really. They, I, it's fun to play other games, too. But they finally let me uh, play the game that I'm most comfortable in. So I will be chatting a lot. Except for when I'm not. I think my daughter's banged on the door. It's fine. <laughs> You're done with Nightbot today? Oh, no. Eggy, what's up? By the way, I normally say hi to everybody while I drink some coffee for a moment. Just like a couple of minutes here. Uh, Eggy... Cybran, hello. I know KP's here, right? Who else is here from the from the Cooler Masters uh, team? Proxy, what's up? Diamond, hello again. I remember you. Weren't you one of the people that carried my butt in Rocket League, if I remember correctly? Alec, hello. Okay, so if you're using my if you're using our emotes, I'm not sure. Is that is that Bodkin? That might be Bodkin. Uh, Ross, hello. Zach, what's up? Turtles, you're in the right place. Jeff, Northern Tide, ROP, ROP, I guess. You started to play games with your little with your with your kiddo. That's awesome. Yeah, our uh, four and a half year old just started playing games soon. Uh, recently, actually, he started on Mario Odyssey and now he's playing Minecraft on the Xbox One X. S S S. Uh, I think Jason. Hello, Synoptic. What's up, dude? Synoptic, what time is it for you? Are you at work? Ahmed, hi. Welcome, welcome, everybody. A lot of you have probably been here before many times every Friday. Not GG. Uh, who else is here? Sanus. Sains? Sains. 
Usan, I think. I'm I'm butchering these names. I'm sorry. Uh, Thunkin, hello. Who is Andrew? I know that name. I think. Maybe. I'm just scrolling through scrolling through the names. M13, hello. Welcome. If I missed y'all, I'm sorry. There's a Doma here as well. Hi. A bunch of our community folks. Oh, it's Dinkle. Bodkin's first name is Alex. Not Alec. DM, thanks. Yeah, I got a bunch of DMs, so I will respond to them. Here, let me... I got a little bit of coffee left, but it's okay. How are you going to do prizes for people who play if we don't end up doing modes where there's a winner? Everybody's a winner. I mean, we can play some PvP too. I did tell them uh, they I was I would think they might possibly have a plan for it because I did say that I'd probably stick the strikes and whatnot because it is my wheelhouse PVE anyways chill stuff. But I'm down to play some PvP if we need if we need some winners and you need to see me sweat. So I got a bunch of DMs, but there's uh, KP. There's not anybody in the group. Should I just start pulling based on like who DM me first? You don't normally comment on anything. No, I don't normally comment on much on YouTube either, to be honest. For those who don't know who I am, I should probably introduce myself. My name is Jay Sniperton. I typically just go by J, the letter J. And I stream on Twitch five nights a week. Um, recently, I've taken a few more nights off because our kiddos have been, you know, children. So, so uh, I mostly stream five nights a week in the middle of the night in the U.S. on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jsniperton. You're always welcome. Anybody here, any friend of uh, Cooler Master, of course, is always welcome. It's your first time here. The good thing about strikes, actually, or PvP, is that if you downloaded this recently uh, for free, you can actually play strikes for free. So, all right, I will. I got some. I got some DMs here. I'm gonna send y'all my join code, and you do this in game chat. So I'm gonna click the first three people. So if you have the game open, you open up like game chat here and you go forward slash join and you type in that long number that I just sent you. All right, I just sent it to three people, my bad. Ostacost, I sent it to you because I can't math. I just needed two, not three, that's my bad. Ostacost, we'll get you in on the next one, okay? That's my fault. Totally and 100% my fault. Bet it is bedtime for you, Doma, huh? What is the music playlist? I normally, I have a specific playlist that I normally play on Twitch that is not always DMCA friendly. I literally just went to Spotify and typed in like like DMCA free streamer music and that's currently what we're playing. The playlist is called Streamer Lo-Fi. I could put on like some Monster Cat or something a little bit more upbeat. A little This is this is good coffee music, but Isn't there like a monster cat dubstep synth? Might be good. Love the jersey. Oh, this strike, of course. Of course. You love jersey? I do too. It's it's really nice. It's really comfy. I just have like a plain black t-shirt underneath it. Oh, you have Australian internet and you're trying to download it? Yeah, it's like 90 gigs. <laughs> Pretty sure. I got you, Impulse.
Who's the other dude? Uh, Impulse? I got Impulse and Tabasco in here. That's just what their uh, Discord names were. You joined, but it's almost bedtime for you, Dinkle. Are you... Like, you work late? I don't even know. Yeah, this one was buggy. Like this is the this is everybody's least favorite strike. I don't mind it as much. A bunch of stuff to kill and shoot. Who's impulse on YouTube? Yes. Impulse need to uh, show yourself. There he is. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Oh goodness, that's a nice ship. I appreciate it. It's a stock ship, but I have a uh, like a cool shader on it. Everybody compliments it. It looks like something out of a like a Star Wars Darth Sidious kind of vibe. It's nice when the names match, indeed. But how's everybody's day going? You guys having a good day? Good week? All things considered, it seems like, you know, um, people are getting their, their shots and stuff and they're trying to have a plan to get everybody started in May, which is nice. So maybe there's going to be some kind of semblance of normalcy soon, maybe? We'll see. Now, are people trying to say that there's somebody in in the game so that so that they win something when they're not actually? We can have some good uh, integrity, right? Like that's that's a thing that that we can have as people. <laughs> It's almost shower time. I could use a shower, to be honest. <laughs> you slept for like 12 hours after getting little sleep? Yo, awesome that you were able to catch up. That's great. That is great. Hopefully I get a stretch of like six or seven hours tomorrow, tonight. You just woke up, she get out of bed and make coffee. I'm trying to think of what time. It's like the evening for you, right, Bakken? But you, yeah, I think you have one of those. You have a backwards schedule in Australia, which is interesting. Or wait, what time is it in Australia? It's like, I don't know, it's like 11, right? It's not that late, I guess. How did League of Legends go last week? I have not played League of Legends before. I've played Heroes of the Storm, which is kind of, sort of similar. It's like 10 a.m. I'm so used to you being here at like dinner time. <laughs> Thought it was pretty fun. That's good to hear. You heard you could get a gambit carry in here, Joey. I don't hate Gambit. I it's funny because like everybody is um people have been bad about Gambit right now, but it's never been a favorite game mode of mine, so the faster it goes by the better. And it's pretty quick now. You woke up at 6 30 a.m. I went to sleep at 6.30, 7 a.m. <laughs> and then I woke up at like 11. Can you hear me now? Like how fast it goes. Yeah, I haven't played it a lot, but I know I, I know that uh, it's pretty much instant dead when the when the dude spawns. So I normally do like a question of the day. 
Let's make one up. Uh, do you guys prefer coffee, tea, or soda? What's your What's your go-to energies thing? I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be for energy because a lot of people drink tea that is non-caffeinated. And do you call it soda, pop, or coke? If you if you go with soda, soda pop. Sody pop. See, but it used to be a soda act. I feel like everybody when they're like high school age is a is a you know, pop addict, soda addict. We got some pop here. We got soda, we got coke. Peanut butter's in the south, I would bet. Who calls soda as a whole Coke? When I grew up in, in the South, uh, everything was Coke. You go to, you go to a restaurant and you say, yes, I'd like the, I'd like a Coke. And they go, what kind of Coke would you like, honey? Yeah, I'll take a Pepsi. <laughs> it, seriously, like I'll take a Sprite, I'll take a root beer, whatever. But it's all, st it starts with Coke. Pop in Canada. Yeah, it was pop when I lived in Washington, like Seattle area. Uh, I moved down to Oregon 14 years ago, 2007. And it's pretty much soda down here. I think it's because kind of the intermediate between Seattle and California. I think some places here it's pop, some places Coke. That's where the hipsters are now. What? I just double that was a double kill. Fine. Oregon? I mean, you're not wrong. There's also hipsters up in Seattle too though, so. Your impulse. Yeah, yeah. KP, you got impulse, right? He's impulse in the YouTubes as well. You call it soft drink? I have heard that before. Is that normal for y'all? <laughs> Those awful but good tasting things. Yes, indeed. It's so bad for me, yet it tastes so good. I will. I'm going to be that guy who gives you a healthier alternative to soda. Uh, if you've ever heard of Izzy, I-Z-Z-E, -Z -Z it tastes like soda, but it is actually a carbonated juice. 70% juice. It's got roughly the same amount of sugar as like, you know, it's eight ounces. So it's like a little guy. It's like a, it's like a rock star can basically, excuse me, a, a Red Bull can. And it's, it's delicious. No, no, no. Ice is nothing like it. Ice is like no sugar, all that stuff. Right. Um, but Izzy is, it's got like, I don't know, it's got like 20 grams of sugar, but it's mostly juice. So at least it's natural. And uh, it has cane sugar instead of corn syrup and all that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not better than a Coca-Cola or a Fanta once in a while, you know. You like the artificial orange flavor? I mean, it's kind of hard to go against like an orange Fanta or a orange crush or something like that, too. Cherry Dr. Pepper. My wife loves pretty much any cherry soda. Prefer an ice over an Izzy. Doesn't, isn't ice mostly like low calorie type drinks? Like artificial sugars? I don't know what it is about like Splenda and all that in, in, in drinks. It's just weird. Man. Cheer wine. I have heard of that before. I don't think I've ever had it though. Soda just makes me think of crackers since they call them soda crackers. This is true. It's just, it's interesting how different parts of the world call things different, you know, and we're all referring to basically the same thing. If we say biscuit, you know, you think of biscuits and gravy and people in Australia are like biscuits and gravy. You're putting your biscuits and because they're thinking of like little cookies, like little sugary biscuits. Same with the UK. Basically, a biscuit to them is like a scone, scone, whatever, however you want to say it. 
It's like a dense piece of bread. They don't have biscuits there. Like how sad is it to live in a country that doesn't have the fluffy biscuits? I bet you there's people in chat that have never had biscuits and gravy before. Probably people in the US that have never had biscuits and gravy before. They go great with vodka. What the the sugary biscuits or the the hearty biscuits? You're not a big fan of gravy. Listen, it destroys my stomach, but it's delicious. <laughs> Gotta have it in some peppered sausage gravy, though. You ever had the uh, the honey? The what is it? The honey? What do they call them? Honey biscuits? The Pillsbury ones? The honey honey butter biscuits? Have I had poutine? I have not. Some sounds like something like my wife likes to douse her fries with stuff. She likes chili cheese fries and all that. I can't do it. I need to go up to Canada again. The last time we went to Canada, I think it was 2008, 2009. I haven't eaten lunch and everyone's talking about food. I'm sorry. This is a typical thing that happens with me, all right? Because it's one of the great differentiators of like society is food. We all love food. We all have our opinions about food and we all eat different kinds of food. But I just love, I, I will always try. Okay, no, I won't say always. Uh, I refuse to eat some of the things that are in the UK, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I'll try like any kind of snack food or junk food at least once. English muffins with peanut butter and jelly. I'm down with it. Did you know that like most, like especially Australians, sometimes Europeans, they hear us talk about peanut butter and jelly and they're like, what on earth? Why are you putting jelly or jam with your peanut butter? That's disgusting. And it's such an American staple. You don't even think about it. Yet they're like, here, put this salty yeast spread on your bread instead delicious just cake it on eat it with a spit i mean i'm not saying that uh i can't even think of that what that stuff's called it's fine um why can't i think of what the yeasty spread is called somebody knows bodkin knows vegemite nailed it uh i've tried it before it's okay it's very salty Took me a second. Vegemite and Marmite. I've not tried Marmite. I've tried Vegemite. <laughs> My daughter's banging on the door. It's fine. She's just over a year. You're Scottish and you love PB&J, so I wonder if it's just an Australian thing then. Disgusting. I don't know how you eat that. What? Peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> or are you talking about Vegemite? Like, which one are you talking about? <laughs> My dog eats his own poop and won't eat Marmite. Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, when he eats his own, at least he knows what's in it. You know? I don't know. I want to say your dog, is your dog a dachshund? I feel like dachshunds do that a lot. How many strikes are we doing per group? Uh, KP can take that. I think they were saying two to three. Strikes usually take somewhere between seven and 12 minutes.
man that the statement it just turns into a salty spread why do i feel like that's a why do i <laughs> why do i feel like that's a phrase that could be used to describe me as a person or other it's a hitbox on that weird you know sometimes you just turn into a salty spread you know just it just happens Sometimes they don't have Coca-Cola and all they have is Pepsi and you turn into a salty spread. I don't know. It's just, it's just the way of life. It happens. I don't know what this song is. It's fine. I don't know this playlist at all. A superhero's body weight. Do you think, do you think, how much do you think Guardians weigh? I mean, we look pretty, we look pretty taut, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Listen, I don't, I don't have a poster of my guardian over my bed. That's just, that's, mm -mm. Cyberpunk physics. The videos of the cars just like, you know, flying away or exploding with no sense of purpose. Exos probably way more. What do you think exos are made of? Have is there lore? Does anybody know Destiny lore enough to tell me what exos are made out of? Why do I feel like it's like oh, what is the stuff that Wolverine's made out of? Not titanium. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I'm tired. I'm sorry. What it? Somebody knows. Adamantium. Yes. Maybe exos are made out of adamantium. Yo, Brian McDaniel. Happy Friday. Welcome. Anybody hear adamantium and think at I've never gone this way in this strike ever. My mind has been blown. Adam Ant Ium, you know, up and Adam Adam Ant. Adam and alright, I'll just stop. It's fine. There's different kinds of adamantium. Tungsten? Oh god. My wedding ring is made out of tungsten carbide. Thing weighs like seven pounds. <laughs> Joanna, so Joanna, happy Friday. Yes, yes, yes. Adamantium reminds me of that one donut brand. I don't know why I had my sniper there. It's weird. I'm not a donut snob. I do like good donuts. But I also would just go to a store and buy one of those boxes of Franz Old Fashions and just scarf those down. Terraria? I have not played Terraria. I've heard good things, though. Lunchtime here in Hawaii. What are you having for lunch? BMAC, hello, hello. Hopefully you're having a good day. Are you still with Fuzzy? Those type of donuts, the the Franz old fashioned ones, the really thick, dense ones, yeah, those are great. I'm I'm making everybody who's hungry very angry. Apologies. <laughs> Sorry, KP. You have like a bag of nuts you can chomp on or something I've almost always worked from home so that's that's a luxury if I'm hungry I just I just go get a snack but sometimes sometimes it is nice to not be home because sometimes you're like I'm hungry for a very specific thing but I don't want to leave the house guess I'm not eating that very specific thing that I want though Uber Eats makes that kind of uh 
That's a solid well you got there. <laughs> Impressive. About to get out of bed to make food. <laughs> Miss, hi. Are you, uh... When did you go to sleep, Miss? I, the, the reason I'm asking that somewhat personal question is there's there's quite a few people here already that I can see that are from our community and I very much appreciate y'all coming to hang out slash stop by. It's been way too much on DoorDash. Same, and it, it mostly started when we had our first kiddo. Because it's very convenient. It's like, I don't want to get dressed. I don't want to leave the house. I haven't slept for three days. You know, like, I just need sustenance. I don't want to have to think about it, let alone prepare it. Fell asleep at five and had work at nine. Oh. Oh. How did the charity stuff go, by the way? Super chat open? What? What's? I don't even. I was. I don't know what super chat is. They run good deals periodically. What, like Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I have no more primary. Uh, bullets. Oh, super chats like you do. No, 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 no. This is about we're we're here hanging out with uh, Cooler Master. And thanks again to the sponsors for the giveaways, Intel, Sapphire, and Crucial. And uh, I imagine after this group of people, there probably will be a giveaway soon, I would think. KP, did we want to do more than two strikes or do we want to do a different game mode? It's up to you. I'm cool doing whatever. I'm getting my, I'm getting my bounties knocked out here. You want to help feed Cooler Master? Two to three, depending on time. We've done two. Maybe we should do two. Because we're about 10 minutes each, it looks like. How many groups of people do we have? You want to do something else like PBT? One, two, three, four, five. I got six people. Should probably switch out at this point. Uh, maybe we'll do a reprise at the end if there's enough time. Tabasco and Impulse, it was a pleasure. Green Coca Cola. I'm not sure if that sounds like a Dr. Seuss novel or. Uh. <laughs> We do, I do have a couple of people. So Astacos. And then Esri. I'm giving you the join code. Isn't Coca-Cola kind of green before it gets dyed? Well, I'm never drinking Coca-Cola again. <laughs> How about this? Uh, Astakos and Esri, you guys choose strikes, PVP, or Gambit. If you're in chat, you got to type in chat. If you can hear my voice. Or in Discord DM. One of the others, fine. Asparagus and brats. Do you do the brats without a bun? Are you a... Uh, my my big thing recently is... Um, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut and some yellow mustard. That's it. You don't mind? Alright, strikes it is. <clears throat> is Cybran Astakos? Grenades, super melee, auto rifle, scout rifle.
I don't normally run auto rifles. Sauerkraut on a dog, on a brat or a dog or a sausage or whatever. Yeah. Yes. As a kid, I hated sauerkraut, but for some reason, as an adult, I love it. Got Stevie instead. It's called Coca-Cola Life. Is it is it actually green liquid? Or is it just like the label or bottles green? Because green liquid does not... <laughs> you would think... Unless it was some kind of special, like, St. Patrick's Day version. You would think that it would be not green, because green is not going to be the most appetizing, I'm sure. Oh, just the label. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> you pour it into a glass and it's green. You're like, I'm not sure I want to drink that. Mm -mm. That's, uh, that's a huge nope for me, thanks. But to be honest, like, why did we, why is it normal for, for soda to be like this, you know, dark brown color anyways? Like, who decided that color? It could be any color in the world. It could be any color. And they chose, <laughs> they chose that one. It's interesting. Pepsi blue. Yeah, no, there's there's soda with like really interesting colors like Pepsi blue or orange soda or grape soda or you ever had green mountain soda, which is delicious. It can. Or uh, I don't know, Mountain Dew code red or what? Like it can literally be anything. It could make it a unicorn, like just have different colors for every layer somehow. I'm sure they could figure it out. Unicorn soda, like what? I it would. Why does it have to be br like? I don't know. It's weird. Why is that the? That's probably like if you think about it, when they originally brewed things like root beer, it makes more sense, you know, back in the olden times. Because I'm pretty sure like sarsaparilla soda and all that kind of stuff is like really old, like hundreds of years old. Mountain Dew Code Red is really good. Do they still make it? I used to I used to enjoy that. I never... I don't think I bought it that much. Code Red just reminds me of Halo 1. Or was it Halo 3? Halo. We'll just say Halo. They started out in color. Right. No, you're right. All right, I need to throw the ball at you. There you go. Enjoy. Major Melon... Is that pink or is that green? Major Melon. That sounds delicious. Brightly colored drinks probably didn't look good. Right. No, back then I would think that whatever they made was the color it was. Like, you think, you know, root beer and things like that. Baja Blast. Right, yeah. All those Mountain Dew colors are very, very colorful. It'd be weird if they were all just brown. I was like, why is a car alarm going off? It's the song for some reason. Everybody with earphones in right now just checked their car. Fine. Pink watermelon. Like, like Jolly Rancher watermelon? All right. Pick one. Jolly, uh, pink. Excuse me, watermelon or green apple Jolly Rancher? You are not allowed to choose any other. <laughs> I'm that guy. Crystal Pepsi. Yeah, that was clear. If you had to choose green apple or watermelon, which one would you choose? Sour Patch Watermelon? Okay. Uh, neither? <laughs> Sorry you're late, Gustavo. No, you don't have to apologize. You're all good. You didn't miss anything. Just my weird bald head. There's this thing going around on Twitter right now. It's like, show your range, but with hair. And I'm just like... 
Hey. <laughs> Let me get on that. Can I show my three different variations of the inch long that my hair gets? You know? Maybe. He missed Spoon. Spoon will be back. Harold, I think they named him, if I remember correctly. You only had an hour and a half of sleep. Sounds like you need to go back to sleep. You don't like watermelon flavored anything really, but Major Melon is really good. I don't know how I feel about that because I love watermelon flavored stuff. Does this shoot everybody in the room? No. You got given the day off? Nice. Watching the stream at 2.40. So I can tell you that I have a full head of hair and you'd believe me, is what you're saying? I have luscious locks. I live in Oregon. I actually have a man bun. You could believe it. I'm also six foot four. And uh, I'm in very, very, very good shape. I totally don't have a dad bod. Wait, what happened? Is he still back in the other zone? Must be. I don't need sleep. I need to watch the stream. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Wait. Ezri, where are you? Where are you? Oh, did Ezri go way ahead and has to pull us forward? Uh, okay. All right. Well. If he's ahead of us and dies, it should pull us forward. All right. Let me in. I've not seen this issue. All right. I'll just stay here. We'll just have a dance party. While I drink some water. Maybe we'll have a DJ party. That's not what I meant to do. Somewhere beneath us. Oh, yeah, huh? I see him. Hold on. You guys have to be able to hear the game music. I think Ezra has to pull us forward per, per chance. You can't hide a shiny head even at 240, sorry. Uh, dang it! I tried. Walmart has a major melon. Uh, we don't really have Walmart out here for the most part. I haven't been to the grocery store since November. Lower stream quality to five pixels. All right, where is she? That makes it worse. Did I hear the ghost? Oh, hey, sweet. We're coming. <laughs> Looks better to shave the head than do a comb over. I agree. I'm, I'm going to be shaving my head this weekend. I can't go more than like two weeks without shaving it. It just looks sad. The alley-oop. No major melon at Walmart in Canada. Is it like a brand, brand new thing? I'll have to look out for it at the... Uh... I'd probably just buy like a singular bottle though and not like a 12 pack because that's a lot of soda. Grocery stores get you with the like buy three, get two. Did you throw the ball at me and I missed it? <laughs> Even though I didn't move. Uh, you ever go to a grocery store actually and they have like the buy two, get three?
three 12 packs free and stuff like that. It's like, come on. I don't need that temptation. Intercepted. US only release, that makes sense. We get all the things that are awful for you. <laughs> there should be a limited release on salads. Maybe we'd buy them. The temptation would be too great. Wish you had the internet to play Destiny. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's becoming a thing, right? With most games now that you have to have the internet. Like, I remember when, was it when Destiny was first coming out? Or a different game when they were saying you have to have an internet connection. Everybody was so mad. But somehow they've snuck it in there and required it for a lot of games and nobody has said anything. It's really interesting to me. Was it Doom? It was something. I don't know if it was Destiny or something else. I think it was around that time. Where it's like you have to, you know, you have to have an internet connection. It's an online only game. You can't even like play offline and stuff like that. Which is what Destiny is. You can't play Destiny without the internet. But I think it's that way for a lot of games. But I remember, I don't know, it was probably 2010 when they talked about one of those first games that... Or maybe, no, you know what it was? It was Xbox. Wasn't it like the, the console they were going to have you? Like Xbox One? I think that they were going to require you to have internet connection and everybody was pissed. But I feel like everything uses the internet anyways. <laughs> And the box games will just give you the license. I mean, that's basically what PC games do nowadays, right? <clears throat> For the most part. You buy a game, you buy a PC game at the store, it doesn't even have a disc in it. It's just got like a little slip of paper with a code on it. <laughs> that's what my Cyberpunk... I bought the physical edition of Cyberpunk. I've only played it for like an hour, but yeah. It's really interesting to me. I'm And I'm a retro game collector too. I'm a retro game collector for those that, you know, like having physical media. And uh, so I prefer having the actual thing. So it's just a funny thing for I know that it's inevitable that we're going to go digital only, but it's inevitable. Should we do a should we do a live giveaway? We're about halfway through, a little less than halfway through. I think that was two strikes, right? Was that two strikes or was that one? Malachi, is it Malachi? Hello, hello. Or is it Malachi? Oh, that was the first one? Okay, sorry. My bad. I can't count. We've we've decided, you know, we've discovered this already that I can't count. Is Monster Cat? Guardian, we've picked up right. a high gain transmission. Origin point is somewhere Let's along do a giveaway, sweet. Near the cosmic Thanks again to Intel, That's Cooler Master, Master of course, Sapphire, and Crucial for the if giveaways. I'm understanding him correctly, it's a distress call. 
There are so few ballet fans left, Guardian. Does it have to have the apostrophe in it? <laughs> There's a giveaway in chat with the keyword J kit count. International giveaway. With the apostrophe. You gotta have proper grammar to win. This is a lesson. Stay in school, you'll win cool stuff. <laughs> That's hilarious. Love it. What's the name of this song? Uh, why do I? Unknown brain. I literally just went Monster Cat copyright free playlist again. The song is Sandstorm. I am not a fan of that song. <laughs> I will say it. I will shout it from the rooftops. I'm not a fan. Maybe I'm just old. Maybe that's the problem. I've known about Sandstorm since it first came. Wasn't it like 2000 when that song came out? It's so repetitive. And I'm not like, I'm not a meme guy. Like I'm just, you know, I'm just a normal dude. Who likes to have normal person conversations. You know, just talk like your people kind of thing. I'm not a walking, I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those meme streamers. I'm just a dude. And I like to hang out with folks and joke around and laugh and stuff. It's just like the same. It's the same thing over and over again. Did the stream start at five usually? Uh, we've been live for almost an hour, 4 p.m. Pacific. So, 2003, if that's true, that's the year I graduated high school. I'm aging myself a little bit here. Um, for those who don't know me again, hi, my name's Jay. Uh, I do play a lot of Destiny. Obviously not enough to know that I need to scan this first. But uh, I'm also a drummer. I marched drum corps and marching band and taught for a long time and stuff. We came to a conclusion that there was actually some people who knew what that was last time. So I'm putting that out there. So I wouldn't consider myself a musician. I just like to hit stuff. You know, I like to bang on things and make loud sounds time sharkims what's up how you doing sounded like a lot like Elmore fun that's all folks that's a uh, porky pig are you uh wasn't Elmer first like uh we'll hunt wabbits uh, be very very quiet when does the new Space Jam come out? Speaking of Looney Tunes. Isn't that supposed to come out like this year? The other barber won the giveaway. What did he, what did they win? The giveaway is over. No need to type J can't count in chat anymore. I'm very aware that I cannot count. <laughs> ah, except for when it comes to drumming. <laughs> July 16th. All right, not too far away. Who won? It was in chat a second ago. Uh, the other barber, as announced by Night Nightbot, Nightbot. So, what did they win? I'm curious. I don't want to make a joke about something you'd win because. If I'm wrong, then I'm going to look like a fool. Depends on where they are. Ooh, USA. Aha! I've got access. You got want a bottle of... I don't know. Vegemite. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> SK622. I need to look at the page for that. Uh, 
that, that, that's the keyboard. Six two two. I don't know if it's is it on this page. No. It's so new. It's not even on there. Oh, I gotta Google it then. Yo, a wireless mechanical keyboard. Let's go. That looks sick. Low profile blue switches, so it's not super mega loud. It's just kind of loud. Aluminium design. That's awesome. I love wireless stuff, by the way. Big, big fan of wireless. 10 key list? Yeah. But I mean, that's kind of the new rage for PC gaming now, isn't it? I use a controller because <laughs> uh, I'm that guy. Unless I'm playing games that were, you know, that are built for... If I'm playing, like, Fortnite, which I haven't played Fortnite in years at this point, I'll use a keyboard and mouse. But if I feel like it feels pretty good on controller, I'll use controller. It's more comfortable. It's funny, though, too, because I was one of... You know, I was an original... I played Counter-Strike on keyboard and mouse back in the day. I was a try-hard 16-year-old. I, excuse me, I, I will say, I, I won't say in a negative negative way. I was a, a teenager who tried very hard to win at video games. Now I'm old and I don't have as much to prove. <laughs> For those that have never played Destiny 1, this is actually a Destiny 1 strike. And I think they fixed some of the issues that were in this too and I haven't played it since. When I was in the menus, I sometimes like I have a mouse and keyboard here, but sometimes, yeah, like, I mean, woo, it's so slow. Super melee. I still need to get more auto rifle kills. Do I need to get like headshot kills or something? Is that what's second? No, I just need to shoot guys, I guess. I'm going to ask a question and I'm, you know, I'm part of the Cooler Master stream team. And so this is totally not me asking because I don't know. I'm asking because I want, because I'm setting them up to be able to answer the question and give everybody here our information and not for me because I totally know this answer. But how long have y'all been doing wireless keyboards and potentially mice or are you guys more focusing on it recently? I'm asking for everybody else, not for me. We launched our first wireless products last year. Okay, good. That shank's been modified. Let's download to Destiny yesterday, 60 gigs. Yeah, it's a big one. But it's funny, it's smaller now than it was. Uh, it was like 90 before. They, you know, they removed a bunch of stuff in game. And uh, so it's a lot smaller now. They're not doing a Destiny 3. So it's, it's been a whole thing, right? For anybody who's who knows anything about Destiny or doesn't, I guess. If you don't know anything about Destiny... Um, originally, originally in the contract between Activision and, and Bungie, which Activision used to be the producer, producers of Destiny, Destiny 3 was supposed to come out at the end of 2020. Like it was in the contract and all that stuff. And since Bungie cut ties with Activision, what was it? 2019 or early 2020? It was 2019. 
they cut ties and kind of prolonged everything. And, you know, with, with COVID and everything, it kind of screwed all the schedule up anyways. But they decided not to release Destiny 3 and go all in, at least for the time being, on Destiny 2 and the upcoming content. So it's going to be Destiny 2 for at least the next three years through 2024. The very least, I believe, because what we have... Uh, the the queen dlc this fall and then the one after that is another one that we know about at least yeah so it's really interesting how they did that bungie is an indie development company with 900 employees Your old save files old as heck. Yours is 81 gigs. Yeah. Uh, can you call me Jay? Just call me Jay, shark. Thank you to Ezri and uh, Ostakos. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys very much. We have Sains and Zach here. I'm not sure. Um, why did they just do that? Uh oh, oh, there it is. You guys are still here and would like to play. I'm sending you my join code, which you put in game chat. And you can choose. You guys can vote between the two of you, whether you want to play strikes, PVP or Gambit since it's the free-to-play stuff. Cyber was a lot of fun. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, my name's not like J, like J-A-Y. My name's John, short for Jonathan. But I just, I don't know. As I get older, my name gets shorter and shorter. It's like when I was a kid, you know, parents called me Jonathan. And it, when I was 12, I was like, I'm John now, you know? So uh, became John, J-O-N, and then streaming with the J Sniperton stuff, I just became J. So five years, 10 years from now, I'm just gonna be J. And that is, uh, you know, the worst dad joke ever. I'm lacking in kills compared to the other two. True, other two. This is very true. I do not claim to be good at the game. <laughs> but the way that I am when I'm streaming. All right, so we got Sains and Zach. You guys can choose what you want to play. Can't go shorter than Jay now. I mean, I'm pretty short. Short nicknames when younger and then gets longer usually, really. Oh, God. I don't think I'll ever go by the name Jonathan and my middle name's Martin. I feel like I'd be like a fashion designer. Yes, my name's Jonathan Martin. This is our new line of clothing at Target. You can get it for $7.99 on discount. Fire team chat's broken right now. Uh, you're fine with anything? You have no preference? All right, more strikes. So, so the way that I am when I stream and play video games is other than we normally do raid help and stuff, but especially in the beginning of stream, this is my chance to talk to y'all, talk to stream, catch up. I'm all about interaction. I'm all about, you know, cracking jokes and being silly and being a goofball. I am not a pro gamer. I'm not an MLG gamer. I'm too old for that. I'm not saying that old people can't be MLG. I'm just saying that I specifically cannot. Uh, I'm very appreciative of folks that join up to play because they most certainly carry my behind. I try to pay it back by helping folks get through raids. <laughs> That's why, like, when we played, I mean, Fall Guys is kind of an exception, but when we played, you know, Rocket League, I was just like, I I felt, I mean, I don't mind playing games, new games and stuff. I, I had a lot of fun playing uh, Rocket League, but putting, like, just throwing me into a competitive atmosphere when my brain is so used to just chilling on stream, 
it it becomes a different mindset where I have to be hyper focused on the game and stuff because I am competitive by nature. Uh, just games, board games, card games. My whole family is this way. If I'm gonna be in a competitive atmosphere, like I want to win, I just get sucked into that. So being in a non-competitive atmosphere is nice because then I don't feel pressured to compete if that makes sense we all want to see you watch you play csgo listen i haven't played counter-strike in 20 years uh i used to be good i played on i had one of those microsoft's optic mice you know the ones with the red laser i will i will i'm the guy you know i talk about my past gaming prowess similar to somebody who's kind of stuck in their high school days where I used to get banned from servers because they thought I was cheating because I was just like shooting guys through walls They're like you shot me through a wall I'm like yeah because that's the wall that you can shoot through and you're hiding behind the box that everybody hides behind <laughs> of course I, sh I killed you there Never, it's not too late to stream CS. Here, let me go download it real quick. Minute to Silver 2 in Arena Bodkin? Wow, you've surpassed me, sir. You're wishing that your cooler master would fail? I feel like that's some karma that's going to bite you in the butt later. <laughs> Which card games do you play? Oh, like, no, I'm talking more traditional stuff. Pretty much anything with a deck of cards. Uh, so I grew up with Cribbage was one of the first games I learned when I was like four to learn math and stuff. Four or five. Cribbage, spades, hearts, pinochle, poker, all sorts of different kinds of poker. Um, I don't know. I just like card games. I like board games. What are y'all's favorite card slash board games if you have any? Uno. Uno's a good one. Phase 10. I mean, those aren't really traditional card games, but I still enjoy them. Uh, my one poker, like, notch on my belt is that I got to play in the 2013 World Series of Poker main event. Um, I won a seat through, uh, like, three satellites in one day that I won to get that package seat thing. And I got to sit next to Ray Romano on day three. That was a lot of fun. Kind of an unforgettable experience. I did not... It was like I spent like a hundred dollars on the account and I won like back to back to back tournaments to get the the big in package. And I'd love to go do that again. And not play so timidly. We posted our TwitchCon photo in Discord. Oh, the one where we look like brothers, yeah, because we go got the ginger beard going on. Went through a big Catan phase and unit Yeah. Uh, when I lived with a couple of roommates down here in Oregon, we played Catan like every night. We kind of got sick of it after a couple of months because it was like every single night playing Settlers, you know. And I like to win when I play games like that. <laughs> so it got to the point where like nobody wanted to trade resources anymore because they're like, we know what you're trying to do. We're not going to trade with you. I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> Because I would, I would, you know, when I played Settlers, I'd have like four moves ahead in my brain. So I'd be trading for something and they wouldn't like think anything of it. And then three turns later, I'm done. <laughs> Settlers breaks up friendships. Yeah. <laughs> the general rule of Settlers is don't trade unless it directly benefits you, right? It's like a selfish person's dream. But I mean, it's a, it's a game too, so... Uh, 
Uh, Manile? I haven't heard of that one. What is that game like? Not heard of that one. I'm also, I will say though, I'm a stickler for the rules. Uh, so if I play card games or board games with anybody and they try to like deviate from the rules that are written, I, I have a hissy fit. I have a hard time playing with anybody who wants to bend the rules in a game. It's kind of a fault of mine. Uh, <laughs> they're like, I'm just going to do this. Is that okay? I'm like, no. It is not okay for you to do that. Like, why? It's, just, it's no big deal. I'm like, because it's not in the rules that you can do that. You know, like, I don't know. I just have a... It's, it's, a, it's a bad thing. I'm a rule follower. I'm a law follower. There was a time, you know, as a semi-serious poker player, uh, <laughs> I basically... It's, a, it's very difficult for me to play home games with people. If they're not willing to at least learn the proper way to bet and all that kind of stuff. Because it's, it's against the rules to do things like string bet. Like just continuously stacking chips like this is called string betting. That's against the rules. You're not supposed to do that. Pretty much like any, like you, you have one pile. Or if you like verbalize the amount, you can do that. Or if you say like call and raise, like that thing is a big no-no. Um... And I would call the, you know, I try not to be a jerk about it. Like, hey, you're not supposed to do that. They're like, it's no big deal. I'm like, mm, it's, you're not supposed to do that. Because you can actually garner information by doing that kind of stuff. And I don't like it. But, um, so yeah, I just, it's hard for me to play things like home games. I can't play poker game. I can't play poker for free anymore. Like, there has to be money involved. Even if it's five bucks. ever played uno with stacking plus two and plus fours like if you don't have a plus two you pick up four kind of thing is that what you mean if i'm not winning a contain the person currently in the lead isn't either yeah i'm that guy too hey you know if you trade with this person they're gonna win my wife doesn't particularly appreciate that because she'd be like, why are you telling, why are you doing that? Like, why are you going against me? I'm like, it's not you. It's just whoever's in the lead. <laughs> making, I'm just making people aware that you're one point away. Doesn't like it. That's why, again, I try to not, I'm competitive. <laughs> So I try not to put myself in that situation if I can. Gustavo, there's a game that my family plays for Thanksgiving that's called Dirty, I think. Uh, and we use like quarters to play it. You have like five quarters or whatever, I think. Or no, that's a different game that I'm thinking of. Actually, that's 31. Dirty is like Uno, but with five decks of, of like actual playing cards and like Jack's Jokers or, or uh, Wild and stuff. And twos are basically plus twos. And you can do that. If you have a two, you play it. The next person has to play two. Then the next it goes until the last person. And then whoever doesn't have a two has to draw however many, you know, were put down kind of thing. Keep forgetting the time sacrifices America makes to the sun god two times a year. Yeah, it's bizarre. It is bizarre. And for those that are just joining us, thank you again for joining the Cooler Master work and stream from home. Work slash play from home. And, uh, Thanks to Intel, Crucial, and Sapphire for their sponsorships, for sponsoring the uh, giveaways. There is a, what is the monthly giveaway command? There's a monthly giveaway command that's got a bunch of stuff. I imagine the next giveaway will be pretty soon, probably 10, 10 minutes from now, I would think. 
Thank you, KP. There's the link in chat for the monthly giveaway. Uh, every, I believe, if it's the same, right? Every week that you show up, you get an extra entry. I'm pretty sure, unless something's changed. Um, so every week you come to these Friday streams, you get an entry. You don't have to be at any of them, obviously, to win. And the monthly one is international. And the, uh, the in-chat ones usually... I think the way that they're doing it now is depending on where you live is what you win. Sometimes the U.S. prizes are a little bit better since they are shipping from the U.S. One entry per week. Perfect. I look like I know what I'm talking about. That's great. It's always a good sign. Monthly is Canada and U.S. Okay, I stand corrected. My bad. My mistake. Thank you for the correction. So I'm curious, KP, I don't know if you know, uh, or if you have like ears to the ground on this kind of stuff, but with all the difficulty with graphics card acquisition and stuff, is it, are you guys seeing I don't know if you do any kind of pre-built stuff, you know, other than the giveaway things. But um, do you guys have to deal with any of that in distribution? Like supply issues? My son is home from preschool. I sort of stomping around. Well, that wall needed to get a sword in it. If you didn't answer Cooler Master on the first question, auto DQ, that's how they get you. Took us a long time to even lock down a graphics card sponsor. That's great. It's just, it's nuts. It's insane. And I've been having speculation that it's not just scalpers. Like it's, you know, Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff being crazy. Uh, has some indirect impact on it, I'm sure. Because when I built my, my gaming PC, which has a 1080 Ti in it, I actually built it right before the Bitcoin blew up during that time. Uh, right before it hit 20k. And then I built my new stream PC, like, right after... <clears throat> it was like 2019. But fortunately, I just used a 2060 Super in it. In that one. Scalpers is the real problem. I would, uh, you know, I would agree. It's uh, crazy. It seems like things like PS5 are starting to normalize and even out because I know that on eBay, uh, they're not going for quite as much right now as they were. Harris, it's over. Hash Ladoon is dead. Oh, really? This is a relief Anakin, it, that seems like weird. But I also, didn't I also hear that uh, Bitcoin is going to be stopping their GPU mining capabilities or something in order to try to combat the, the miners and stuff? If I remember hearing that correctly. Yeah, I guess COVID causing shortages too. It's like, yeah, it was like a perfect storm of stuff happening. Why would they do that? I don't know. They might make it more CPU heavy. Your eyes are burning. I'm sorry, my, my head is very shiny. Let me help you. The sun! Companies don't have a lot for marketing purposes. Ah, yeah, it's true. Uh 
NVIDIA had a beta driver with that mining code missing. The internet got it, and now it's already disabled, so mining can go full tilt. Oh. Have I gone for Salvo? I don't have it yet. I've been chipping away at it. Um, to be honest, I've been mostly focusing on raids and stuff. Salvo, I have... Uh, wherever it is. I don't even know what quest it is. It's fine. This one? I'm I'm doing the slow burn. When I had my 1080 Ti, well, I mean, I still have the 1080 Ti. When I first got it, I was mining Bitcoin because it was at like 20k, which was an all-time high at the point at that point. And then it dropped down to like 10k, 12k, and I was like, it's not worth it anymore to put that stress on the GPU. Fortunately, the GPU is still good, you know, still working. How do you enter for the weekly prize? The weekly or the month? Is there a weekly one too, or is there a monthly? I think they tried to set up a cam command for it, but um, Nightbot, Nightbot's being kind of a butt. Monthly prize, yeah, yeah. Weekly smaller prizes. So the weekly, yeah, the weekly prizes are here during the stream. So whenever there's a giveaway, which I um, I would probably predict that there's going to be one in the next little bit, and then there might be one at the end of the stream, maybe, or however they want to do it. And then the monthly prize is a link that they put in chat periodically for you to enter. But you can get an extra entry every week. Yeah, the weekly prizes are here. Like, live in chat. <clears throat> what is my favorite D2 raid, including the vaulted ones ever? King's Fall. Or it's, oh, D2 raid would be Last Wish. Now, there's a caveat there. D2 Raid is not my favorite to teach. But if I'm going in with a group that, you know, um, knows mechanics and stuff, then D2 is my favorite for sure, like a like a planned raid. But I'm used to doing help and whatnot, and, and Last Wish is just such a long, arduous raid. And I, you know, I always enjoy, I always enjoy helping people, but Last Wish can be quite taxing. Because there's just a lot to think about all the time, especially when you're helping others and a lot of responsibilities to think about and whatnot. I would say Deepstone Crypt is probably the most enjoyable to teach because it's just easier. And favorite raid overall in the Destiny universe is King's Fall. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that King's Fall, along with uh, at least Wrath of the Machine, comes to uh, the Destiny 2 universe. They're kind of showing that they might do that, you know, considering they're bringing back Fog and everything. Wow, you guys got wrecked. And I'm about to as well. <laughs> well, we're not going to be able to get Zach. But King's Fall, I don't know if it's specifically um, because I have a sp special place for it in my heart. Because I started streaming with King's Fall around that time. And I have over 600 clears of King's Fall. And we did a lot of raid help with King's Fall. It's like... Basically, all I did for a year was King's Fall Raid help. So, but I just have this special place in my heart for that raid. Wrath of the Machine was also a lot of fun. Did a charity challenge where we did five brand new people that had never done Wrath of the Machine. It took five and a half hours, which is still not even the longest raid I've ever done. We It was Wrath of the Machine challenge, too, for... Uh, the boss. So, it was, yeah. Typically, we, you know, we have, like, one, two, three people that haven't done it. <clears throat> but, it's tough to do five. Especially when everybody has individual responsibilities to keep track of. But 
What do I think about the 12-person activities? I thought it was a blast. Now, assuming with the raid, uh, I wouldn't want to take people through that didn't know what they were doing. Because I usually, I don't like to carry people through activities, through raids and stuff. It just, I want to teach people. I want them to, to be wholly responsible for things and actually learn encounters and responsibilities and stuff, at least minimally. Um, and if you're taking 12 people through and three people haven't done it, they don't have to do anything. And that makes me sad. Least favorite raid? I mean, they all have their merits. Uh, I would say the raid that I least want to do again is probably Crota. But it's funny because it was the raid that I spent the most time in originally. Like when I first started raiding, it was right when Crota Hard came out was when I really started to raid. I didn't play like Bog at all in the beginning. Is there an ad that we didn't kill? I participate in the Vogue Worlds first. I am torn on it. Because I'm not... Any group that I'm going in with, it's not about getting first. It's about trying to get it done in 24 hours. Um, I was lucky enough to raid with the DCP crew, which is the Destiny Community Podcast crew for Keepstone Crypt. That was a lot of fun. And... But it also made me feel a little bit sad because we had... There was a... There was a raid group that was mostly community folks that like were literally in our turtle squad clan and i wasn't in that raid group and it made me sad but they have their own crew too now so i don't know we'll see it takes a lot of planning to do a world's first because i have a wife we got two kids and it's a lot for both of us so you know we have to get family involved like she, if it's a day of work, she has to, like, take that day off and stuff. So, we'll see. We don't even know when the date is yet. Least favorite bread. Rye? Probably. It's just so dry. You really need a video card. Can't you get like a 3070 or a 3060 or 2080 or something? I know that like 3080s, 3090s are impossible to get right now. The bread gods will smite at you. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was I up there? What on earth? Um, I don't know if I've ever had good rye bread before. Most rye bread that I have is just like mega dry. 3060s and 3070s are even harder to get. Really? I was in my brain. I was like, you know, if I can get a 3080 for retail, I might pick one up, pick one up. Uh, but they've just been so hard. I've just been like, ah, I don't need it yet. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't even tried. <laughs> My favorite kind of bread is sourdough, like, by far. So you think about how different sourdough and rye are. And it's funny because I'm half Jewish. And I'm not a big fan of rye. When that's like a... I don't know why it feels like it's notably... Like a Jewish type of bread. <laughs> if you're going to ask me my least favorite things and I'm going to answer honestly, I don't feel like you can be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> we might be better friends if you ask me what my favorite things are as opposed to the things that we might differentiate on. You know what I'm saying? Focusing on the positive as opposed to the negative aspects, you know? Any fresh bread is amazing. I imagine rye fresh with some good quality meats and whatnot would be pretty pretty tasty. Favorite cheese. Is there a use case? Like... Because cheese by itself is going to be a different answer than like cheese on a burger or cheese on something else. 
grilled cheese. Cream of ice. Um, favorite ice cream is tough because I like so many. I'm very partial to Hagen dazs coffee ice cream, just like the five ingredient one, the really smooth one. I also love like Ben and Jerry's Tonight Dough and and whatnot. Why are we talking about food now? We were talking about food earlier too. Favorite cheese? I mean, cheddar, pretty basic, but favorite cheese on like a burger would be American actually. The Alton Brown grilled cheese. Is it one of those that has like four different kinds of cheese? I've had those, they're delicious. Put some basil in it and stuff. Oh, so good. Favorite dessert? Peach cobbler? Like general dessert, maybe? Or the Red Robin Mile High Mud Pie? Or a uh, Dairy Queen Mite? Dairy Queen. Di Actually, you know what? I'm going to change my answer. Dairy Queen Blizzard. Half Butterfinger, half Heath. Parmesan's delicious. What is that guy? Is that a rocket launcher? I have not gotten this yet. That was two strikes, yeah. Don't look at the kills, it's fine. Just don't look. DQ Blizzard with the fudge. Oh, you like the fudge core? Put your hands in the eye. In the eye. In the air. In the eye. Put your hands in the eye. I think that was two. Zach and Sane, thanks for playing. It's fine. I'm on like four hours of sleep. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Do we want to do, uh, how many more giveaways did you all, did you all want to do? I'm going to send invites to the next two people. If, uh, is it Hanuk, Hanukin, Hanukin, like Anakin, but Anakin, I'm going to, I'm going to send you. Oh, KP. <laughs> I just got your DM. I thought you were one of the people that wanted to play. Let's do another giveaway global. So, Hanekin, I sent you the thing. Perfect. Uh, one more spot. If you want to send me a message at J, what is it? J Sniperton pound 7094, I think it is, is what it is. One spot. First person to DM me. Hanekin, do you have a preference for strikes, PvP, or. Uh, Gambit. Jay can't snipe. This is accurate. Especially with all the... Oh my god, I can't even think of it. It's my brain. It's the stasis stuff in PvP. It makes it impossible. Low ass skills. I do have a very small butt too. This is true. You got quest for weekly strikes. Okay. Strikes it is. <laughs> oh, we got somebody. Shanty. Is that you wanting to play? You just typed AA. Put your hands in your eyes.
There's the giveaway in chat. It is global. The key word, all one word with an apostrophe is J can't snipe. I'm going to give you the join code, Shanty, if you get in there. I see Hanneken has the uh, the bungee, one of the bungee charity uh, emblems. Love to see it. I have that one, too. The one that I have is also a charity emblem. Everybody always asks me. And if anybody wants to know what my ship is, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's an Eververse ship. But I have a really cool shader on it. What's the giveaway for? Uh, I think it depends on where you live. Play Unreal Tournament. Ultra kill. Monster kill. Oh, hey, I finally got the emblem and 1400 bright dust. Let's go. I'm rich. Outriders. I did play Outriders for, I don't know, 12 to 15 hours or so. I will say as somebody who's very critical of new games that it, it has uh, warranted and earned at least a playthrough of campaign for me personally, and maybe some end game farming. I think the telltale will be for that game, how engaging the end game is for long-term play. Synoptic one, let's go. He is in Australia. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I may have sent him a Ferrari in the mail. The twist is it was this big. He's one of our mods. Cinema Hot Wheels. It was a Lego Ferrari. Because we, uh, we're doing this thing in our community where like all direct tips are going to the mods for the year. And uh, so I sent him a little like Lego Ferrari. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little Ferrari thing. All right, Shanty, you still working? Thanks again to Cooler Master for hosting the, the work slash play from home with us. And again, for those that don't know who I am, my name's Jay, Jay Sniperton on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. And uh, you can just call me Jay, the letter J. We're all friends. But um, thanks to Intel, Crucial, and Sapphire for sponsoring the stream with some giveaway items and uh, also their items in the monthly giveaway. And um, yeah, Cooler Master does these every week and every week y'all show up, you can enter the monthly giveaway again. And I believe there's uh, there's like a bonus giveaway if and when the streams have 250 concurrent. And um, yeah, so Normally, I stream in the middle of the night. So it's possible that if we ever are able to do uh, like a on purpose night stream. And for anybody who, what was it? The first time I streamed, I accidentally forgot to change the stream key when going live at normal time. And people here got to see this the spoon show again. And I was live for 10 minutes before realizing I was live on this channel as opposed to our Twitch channel. Yeah. It's fine. Gotta be real specific when you ask for things. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna... We got like 15 to 20 minutes.
Where are you at, SK? Are you like loading into Destiny? Or are you booting up your PC? <clears throat> There's the link in chat again for the monthly giveaway if you all haven't entered it. I will not an enter the giveaway so that y'all have a better chance to win. <laughs> Loading the game. Okay. I might be disqualified from that anyways. It's fine. <laughs> I have so much Cooler Master stuff. It's awesome. Really high quality stuff. while we are waiting you can't join in it's in it's in your game chat so if you go forward slash join space and then that number that i sent you it'll just pop you in while we're waiting for a minute we can look at this page yet again for this week's work and play at home uh this is the 500 dollar prize package if and when it gets to 250 concurrent. Like in between game. You're on PC, correct? Not on console. The monthly grand prize has the... Is this... Is this a processor? I have not heard of this. Uh, the Cooler Master Master Case NC100. The RX 5600... XT graphics card, a two terabyte M2 drive from Crucial, as well as what is that? 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM from Crucial. This is for US shipping only, which is it Canada as well? The Intel Mini PC? Yeah, it's this guy. That's pretty dope. I imagine the form factor is like yay. A 9000 series processor. Ah, okay. That makes sense. It's dope. How does this compare? Like, on compared to a GeForce, where does this fit? I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about Radeon stuff. The weekly prize is a lot of the stuff that you can win here in the streams is right here. Postmaster's completely out of space. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> There's some uh, cooling apparatus, fans, keyboards. This little guy right here is amazing, by the way. This control pad, it's got pressure sensitive buttons. It's awesome. And you can program these keys to do whatever you want. I may or may not have one of those, it's fine. Um, some Austin gaming keyboards. Is this one of the wireless ones? These these are really cool light mice, gaming mice. You all have wireless mice yet? Are you working on it? I don't even know. All right, SK, I'm just going to join up because we have like 10-ish minutes left. Oh, it started? Okay. 60 second countdown, hopefully. The MM831 wireless. Ooh. Nice. I imagine that's a wireless charging pad. Dope. So pretty much the QI compatible charging pad, like one that you use for your phone and stuff, you can use for that. That's awesome. Nice. Got the two side buttons. I might have to talk to y'all about that. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of wireless stuff. That's awesome. Unknown chat command. Did you put 
So in this guy right here, it's just forward slash join. And then that like 20 number long thing and then hit enter and you should be good. If they can't send it to me, it's totally cool. But, um, you know, I, I don't I don't typically ask for stuff. But that is definitely something that I would love to have and use. I always feel bad asking for things. The, the last time I asked for stuff from Cooler Master was actually when we first got partnered together. And that was like 2017. And they sent me like a huge box of stuff to give away for charity incentives. And I don't know, we had been partnered together for like three or four months at that point. And uh, they like that was like the end all be all like, oh, my God, I love working with these guys because they had such a it was obvious that they had such a strong belief in charity, as do I. And they gave me like a year's worth of stuff to give away for charity incentives. It was like mice and headphones and keyboards. And uh, they've sent some swag recently to give away and whatnot. It's just unbelievable to have a company that work that, um, you know, cares so much about doing good and um backing up their their streamers with just stuff to give away above and it was a way above and beyond you know i was expecting maybe a couple of things when i asked and just this giant box of stuff and i was like oh my goodness so i've i've been very proud to be associated with cooler master and they've always been good to to me and to the rest of the team and want to say thank you again Game started. Uh, join command not working. I'm going to go ahead and join up for this strike. I'm sorry you're not able to get it going, SK. And it's incredible, too, how active the Cooler Master Discord is. Like, I have a hard time keeping up with all the different discords and whatnot, but I know their Discord is super active and social, and I'll... I'll check in every once in a while with the team discord and whatnot and i'll check in on like the general and all that stuff and it's just like crazy how active y'all are oh i'm having some sound issues sorry about that i know i know how to fix that but i have to like go behind the pc and like unplug it replug it in Fine. Yeah, it's super awesome, Cooler Master. It, it's very unique in this space too, in like the streaming space too, to have uh, partners and sponsors that are so active and caring. You know, I've been I've been streaming for almost six years and it's um, it's super unique. All right, hold on one sec. I should fix it. Just have to like unplug the HDMI, uh, the HDMI hub and replug it in. Sometimes technical stuff happens when you're streaming for anybody who is thinking about streaming or new to streaming or whatever. Like one of the things you got to deal with often is just on the fly technical issues. And the more you deal with it, the more, you know, the more comfortable you get with it and you know how to fix things and whatnot. I don't have to use the scout rifle anymore. I can use my favorite weapon. This is my favorite weapon right now in the game. The Mita Mini tool, which we've had for a long time, but it got a it got a sneaky buff for Beyond Light. Yo, and is it Ankito? Hello, hello. Enkido, Enkido. 
So this is another one of the the D1 strikes. This is actually the the Grandmaster Nightfall this week too. So anybody that ever played Destiny One will recognize this area. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with the physics. Not at all. Nothing wrong. No, no issues at all. It's fine. <laughs> it's the life slapped out of him. Yeah, I don't. It's fine. Classic architects. Yeah. Like destroying lives. Anybody that played D1 remember this space over here? Algebra, I dig it. <laughs> Algebra wouldn't have quite the same, you know, ring to it. Callie, good night. So, uh, I imagine next Friday you guys are going to be doing another weekly stream. Is there a, are you guys just going to continue to do this like forever and ever? Or at least for the foreseeable future? Seeing how much they cared about the community that made you switch. Yeah, for sure, Gustavo. 100%. Forever. Technically, we're also working from home. It'll be interesting to see how all of this, uh, you know, all the goings on in the world affect things permanently. You know, like companies often were so scared of doing remote jobs and work and stuff but now it's such an essential necessary part of what's going on in the world it'll be interesting to see how companies react to that you haven't gotten very far in the game you have owned it for a long time but barely played it i mean the thing that destiny the the reason why i stuck to destiny so hard because i'm really particular about games it's got the looting and the gear and the progression and all that stuff, but the mechanics, the like shooting mechanics are kind of hard to beat. There's not very many shooters that feel better than Destiny does to fire a weapon. You know, you could argue Call of Duty. Um, I mean, Borderlands is pretty solid too, but you know, the way that Halo used to feel and the way that Destiny feels is very hard to replicate. Just the basic gameplay elements of this game. And uh, the co-op aspect of it is also a huge part for me personally. I like playing with friends and laughing and reading and being cooperative more so than competitive. Uh, you know, if this game was all PvP, I'd maybe play it once in a while. But I think that's why Call of Duty is not really anything that strikes my fancy as much anymore i know a lot of people are playing blackout and uh whatever the br call of duty is the twitch channel will be super awesome for sure ap Is that something y'all have been talking about for a while is getting the weekly streams on Twitch as opposed to YouTube? Because I can't I can't host this channel from our channel kind of thing either. YouTube's kind of a foreign land to us Twitch mains. <laughs> what are all these buttons? What 
What do I usually play on stream? This. My routine usually goes, I'll, I'll like dink around with, with uh, like a quest or strikes or something for an hour or two. And then I do raffles and people come in and we do raids most of the time. Whether people have done raids or not. I, I like teaching. I like helping. I like playing cooperative, cooperatively. So we're all in voice chat together and laughing and having a good time. Have some on YouTube, some on Twitch. Got it. Nice. Nice. Well, I've said this before, and I'll just kind of repeat, reiterate. If y'all ever want to do a late night thing, I'm totally down. Because that's my normal time. <laughs> like, any time from like 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. Pacific, I'm down. Ever do Monster Hunter World? I did, actually, when it first came out. Um... I think there was, I was enjoying it for the most part, but there was a moment where I, I got a distaste for it. So had a couple of people from the community join up and it was when it first came out on Xbox, right? So we were playing on Xbox, people joined up. We were going to do one of the big monster quests together and we go and I had never done it before and the other two people had, I think it was three, right? And we go over there and start killing the, the, the monster and then all of a sudden I like lost where the monster went and I couldn't find it. And I kind of got left behind. And the fire, t uh, the, the group mates, you know, like not that they were doing it to be jerks or anything like that. They just kept going because I think they had done it before. And they went and did like two thirds of the fight without me. And just beat him. And then I was like, and then I like didn't even get to collect the, the loot from the guy because I like couldn't find him. And so there was this like distaste for like, well, you know, I didn't like how they could basically do the entire fight without somebody. It kind of bugged me. So I just kind of got sad and stopped playing after that. I was just like, well, I guess that's how that goes. And also the melee combat's not my favorite, you know. Um, I know that there was characters in there that had like firing weapons and whatnot, but like, I don't know. It's hard for me to get into because that game is also really deep and requires kind of a lot of knowledge and going into it fresh is difficult with people that know what they're doing, I think. You didn't have anybody to play Destiny 1? Nobody with... Uh, Sarah, we have a, I mean, like, even when I'm not streaming, we have a pretty active Discord, especially for PC players. Uh, anybody here is welcome to join, you know, with us in the Discord and hang out if you play Destiny and stuff. I'm not, like, we, I typically don't go live for another four, four and a half hours from now, five hours. So, I'm typically up in the middle of the night, but even when I can't play, folks are often getting groups together in Discord and whatnot to play or raid or whatever how long do these streams last uh technically we're pretty much done i think at this point we'll finish this out though and we'll we'll kind of wrap it up and we'll do the secret thing one more time if y'all haven't seen it before Nobody else ended up buying it in the end. Yeah. I think when this game goes cross-play, it's going to, you know, it's free to start the game. It's cross-play when it is cross-play anyways. The D1 raid's coming back. I mean, Destiny's a pretty popular game as it is. What did you miss, Night Sky? Oh, nothing, you know. Some weird bald guy on the internet. But I know that like when uh, Monster Hunter World came out on PC and stuff that a lot of people got back into it. But I didn't like either. There, there's no like cross save either for that, which was weird to me. 
I remember correctly, you couldn't like transfer over like a console save to PC version. You had to start fresh, right? Mr. Clean. Da, 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 da. Anakin, thanks for playing, man. Hey, I had a respectable amount of kills that time. All right, so we're going to be wrapping things up here in a minute. I just want to say thank you again to Cooler Master for having me. Again, my name is Jay Sniperton. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Jay Sniperton. And I will be live like four and a half, five-ish hours from now on Twitch. And we're going to be playing Destiny 1 tonight. Actually, we're going to try to do a 12 per... Oh, no, it's going into another strike. I thought I left. Sorry. Oopsies. But, um... The, thanks again to the sponsors for the stream, Intel, Crucial, and Sapphire. And don't forget to enter the monthly giveaway. And you can click the links in chat to learn more about the products at CoolerMaster.com. Are the Destiny 1 servers still up? They are. Yes, we're going to be playing on Xbox. And for those that played, it looks like you want to email contest at coolermaster.com using the Gmail and YouTube account. And leave name, address, and telephone number for a special little thing. It was my pleasure to host. Make sure to follow Cooler Master on Twitter and also join their Discord. And uh, was there anything else that we wanted to do before the special surprise ending? It's only a surprise if you weren't here in the beginning. Let's be honest here. All right. Thank you guys again so much. Hopefully we can do it again soon. And uh, have a good rest of your night and weekend. Stay safe. Stay compassionate, kind, and empathetic. And keep being you. We got one more surprise, but otherwise, goodbye! Goodbye! Show me how you rock, wiggle, rock, baby, work, baby, talk.